and mad, and this is not enough tech. Parallels and data should never be spoken in the same sentence. If that happens and you're running home automation server, for example, from a Raspberry Pi, you are risking corrupted files or actual data loss, not to mention while the Raspberry Pi is down, nothing will work at all. Now, you can prevent that from happening by running a UPS like this. Uh, this is UPS Pro Hat from 52Pi and we are going to have a look at this and speak about the advantages and at disadvantages of running this board in particular. Now this board runs on 18650 LiPo cells and you can use two of them in here to power up your board for a couple of hours depending on the capacity used. Other than that, there is an integrated charging circuit that will make sure that your Raspberry Pi runs smoothly. This UPS hat is compatible with the following boards. Raspberry Pi 2B, a Raspberry Pi 3A+, Raspberry Pi 3B, Raspberry Pi 3B+, but not Raspberry Pi 4. Despite having the same uh, form factor, unfortunately the power delivery system isn't strong enough and I had Raspberry Pi 4 actually crashing while running with the power supply just from this board. So I can't recommend this board for Raspberry Pi 4. So let's take a closer look and see what else we've got available on this UPS uh, hat. Now first of all there is a power button which you can obviously turn on and off and a pass-through for charging and for supplying the power to your Raspberry Pi 4. Now there are also two USB-A type ports that you can use to charge your devices or power external hard drives or any adults you wish to power via USB. And lastly there are two GPIO pins that connect uh, with a 40 pin header supplying 5 volts to the Raspberry Pi without actually taking space on the header itself. But by far the biggest letdown of this UPS board is the lack of notification to Raspberry Pi that the batteries are running out of charge. There is no way of transferring this information from the board to Raspberry Pi and trigger a safe shutdown. It's a shame because during the most prolonged power losses you're still risking a data loss or file corruption. I've actually got an email from 52Pi saying that they're going to look into uh, having a board like this or hat like this compatible with Raspberry Pi 4 and perhaps there might be a solution to notify Raspberry Pi when the batteries are low to trigger a safe shutdown. Now do let me know in the comments in this video uh, what you think about the board. If you're interested it's going to be a link with the description of this board and a couple of uh, more information available for you. Now if you follow me on YouTube you probably know I do not have a posting schedule so if you want to get an update about what I'm doing and what I'm working on it's best to follow me on social media. Links are also just here below for you to follow. Now thanks so much for watching guys and as usual I'm going to see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.